The end of the year is almost here, so let's make a teacher appreciation card. Hi, and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey, I also call myself Dinosaur Mama, and today we are making a teacher appreciation card. This card is meant to look like a composition book, if that isn't just stating the obvious, and inside there is a little pop-up apple. If you are new to my craft room, you can find all of the links below to my blog for the free SVG, as well as all of the materials and tools. So go ahead and hit subscribe, that way you get new crafts every single week, and then let's jump over into Cricut Design Space. So this card does have a few steps that we need to take and no matter what I did on my SVG that apple just wants to be floating so <laughs> it's not a big deal we could just rotate it but the first thing I did was move it down just so it's kind of like in a square and you can rotate it if you want it to be the right way but obviously that's not super necessary. So let's start with our gray piece up top. There are two pieces underneath. The one that has the vertical line going down, that is going to be changed to a score line. Now the one underneath it, you want to keep it a basic cut. And then this whole group right here that's with the gray, you want to make sure you hit attach. Now anything with a drop down is going to have a line and you're going to change that to a score and then attach. Same with our black piece here, basic cut, score, and attach. And then finally, the last piece, our white piece, score and attach. So I did size this card to be a five by seven. So if you look at it right now, it's 7.32 by five, but that is the full amount. You want it to be about, you want, not about, you want it to be <laughs> 10 by seven. So we are going to resize it. And I found that 22.2 gets you pretty close. So that is good. So the only thing left to do if you move this piece off now is you have this little composition book piece. You can add your teacher's name here. You could add this school year. You could add your student's name, whatever you'd like. And if you want your Cricut pens to have a sentiment inside, you could definitely do that here as well. Okay, so if I add it on my text, I would just grab a text box and zoom, I'm gonna zoom in so we could see it. And I am going to add in a teacher name and I would size it down to fit right here. So, and that would really be it. <laughs> I mean, you could add in anything you want, I guess, but that would really be the end of my, uh, my personalization. Um, and I would also leave it black. Now for this, you can do it in paper. I think I'm gonna do mine in vinyl. And the only reason I'm gonna do mine in vinyl is because it'll keep everything lined up really nice. So that is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to send it over to my machine. You can save. They've been doing that every, every time car, uh, now as like a new thing. And yeah. So don't forget also to color sync if you need to. So like I, I know I did a bunch of different colors for this. Um, so you can always color sync everything over on your side panel. If you've never used Color Sync, I love Color Sync. Um, it's just one of my, my favorite things. So here I have everything going. The only thing is that I wanted this a different color. So now I have to go back and change it so that I can cut it out with vinyl. So now we're gonna go over into cut. And so you'll see I have my basic cut and all of my scoring here, which is excellent and everything is ready to go. So I'm gonna cut everything out with cardstock paper. I like to use the medium cardstock setting, except for this I'm going to cut out with vinyl. So let's get started on our assembly. The assembly for this is actually pretty easy. I was a little concerned, but it actually is. So I have my black piece here. I just thought that was so satisfying, so I wanted to show it in the video. Um, so make sure you have a nice clean cut. I used a 65 pound cardstock for this. Um, and I'm glad I did because the card, because there's so many layers, it, it becomes pretty thick. So just be prepared with that. So starting with our pop-up insert, you're going to want to fold this. And then as you're folding, you kind of want to pop the other piece out. So I already started folding mine and you're going to bend in on that so that there's a hole and then fold on your score line. So it is really helpful to have those score lines pre-made and then I'm just kind of crisping them up inside 
so that you create the pop out. So it, this takes a little bit of practice. You don't want to fold it in half. And I'm just using my bone tool here to give even crisper lines, but that's optional. You can always just use your fingers. Don't think you need to opt for a bone tool, even though I love my bone tool. And there is our little pop-up insert. Now for the rest of the card, I don't know what happened with when I folded this, but I think I, I think I misfolded on the score line and I'll double check to make sure that everything is perfectly even here. But um, just make sure that you fold this nice and even. And then I also realized that I should probably glue down the black part of the composition book first. Um, but it was kind of helpful to have this like pre-scored line here because then it's easier to fold all together. So you can try to fold this in half, but it's just sort of a pain. Um, my suggestion is to glue it down to the card itself first so that uh, it's easier to fold. Now, I wish I had like a rolling adhesive. I've never seen that and I feel like I should invent it. So if I see someone make it, you heard it here first. Um, but I had to go through all of these little holes. So I'm using glue. I'm going to speed through this because I don't think you need to watch this in my timing. But here I am putting all the glue on so that I cover up a lot of those holes and secure it down. And then once that was ready, I placed it right on top of the white piece of paper. And you can, of course, cut this out in any color. I made it so that the black part where you do the writing was separate. So you could make this green or red. And now I'm using my brayer just to flatten it out again optional you could definitely just use your hands and then since I already had that fold on the white which was helpful it was easier to fold this time so here is our fold in our composition book and here I am I'm going to add on the spine of the composition book and this should have a score line on it I think my scoring tool could have been a little bit heavier handed here but I am going to glue this on as well to the I guess spine of the card you could say and this is going to go right on the edge and it's going to make it look a little more composition booky. Again, this is separate, which is nice because if you want to do your composition book in a different color, you're able to assemble everything separate. So once you have this glued on, and of course you could use your bone tool to flatten it out more, it's time to add on our little front piece. And so I'm just using my glue again here to glue this down to the front. It goes kind of towards the top on the front of the card. And then I already sliced out the lines for you on this. I thought it would be easier than having to like draw on lines or put them on um, with paper. And so this will just go right on top of that and centered. And here is our little composition book so far. So let's add in our pop-up center. So the first thing you're going to do is glue down your apple pieces and they kind of fit onto this pop-up like a puzzle. So you're going to glue down your apple first, the red part of the apple, I should say, first on to that main big base piece. And then you'll do your stem. Now the pop-up piece there, the stem goes and the apple piece are disconnected, but I connected them over with the stem. I hope that makes sense. Um, so the stem isn't free floating. It should be connected to the apple and it kind of between the stem and the apple and the leaf, they kind of all um, connect back together to make one pop up. So don't have anything sort of floating on its own. They should definitely all be connected. And now I'm gonna glue down my leaf piece on to the last part that should cover up your stem and apple like where they connect so that it looks, I guess a little more put together, but I mean, it'll look fine either way. <laughs> um, and then here is our little pop up apple. So. I hope that that assembly instructions made a little bit of sense. And now I just use glue to attach my insert in. You can also use one of those tape runners. A lot of card makers use those. I think mine is downstairs, honestly. I forget what we were using it for. Um, but here is just my glue. And I like to insert one side of the card and place it down and then glue the other side down rather than try to glue both sides down. I just find this a little bit easier, but Again, you do whatever you want to do when you're building your card. And so now I am just going to insert my one side and make sure your apple is like facing the right way and everything. <laughs> you don't want to have an upside down apple, even though that would kind of be fun, right? And I feel like there's like plenty of room to write and you can have your kid, um, you know, draw something or write their own sentiment or, you know, sentiment. 
I kind of say that word wrong, sorry, uh, and go from there. And I also want to say and mention that I made this pop-up SVG in Silhouette Studio, like the actual insert. I made the card. Um, I kind of convert things a little bit on Inkscape, but I did make the pop-up in Silhouette Studio because they have a pop-up creator. So if you, you know, I drew the apple in there and everything, and then I created a pop-up. I love their software. And so you are able to download SVGs from there. So if you're interested in making your own SVG, Silhouette Studio is a great way to start doing it. Now, the last thing that I want to put on is my vinyl name. So I'm cutting out my low grip transfer tape, which I will have linked below. It's my go-to these days. And we're just going to put on our little vinyl decal. Again, the reason that I use vinyl is because now I know everything's lined up because knowing me with paper, it would just never look even. And so I like using vinyl for certain, certain applications like this. And so we just have to peel it off and then we will put it back onto our little composition book and then you'll be done. And this card actually went together way faster than I thought it would. I was a little nervous at first, but super happy with all of the results of everything. And I hope you enjoy it too. So I don't know. Thanks for crafting with me. <laughs> uh, I always, I'm always so happy when people um, come and share that they like the design and that they're excited to try it. And, you know, please share with me on social media when you do make it because I love seeing your versions of the creations that I come up with. So thanks so much. Thank you for joining me as we made our composition book card. If you enjoyed this craft, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Subscribe to my channel for new crafts every single week and share this with one of your crafty friends who needs a card for teacher appreciation. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.